Hey guys, General Badass here with the Geek Group Zombie Wars, also known as Zom. And as you can see, we're in a building. Now, I'm going to give you guys a quick run around, see if you like it, and then we'll talk a little more about how you can help us to get this building. So, let's get going. So here we got coat room. Always nice, creepy. This used to be a little cafe they called the Rebar Cafe. Broad iron everywhere. You could actually probably lock yourself down in this room over here and hold off zombies. Or they could lock you in the room and you're in trouble. Classrooms, just, there's what, one, two, three, four, five different rooms and doors over here nightmare to try and get through close quarters okay guys so down through here we got a set of stairs nice and creepy one of about a million flights of stairs in this place actually there's probably about 10 or 12 but they are everywhere there's even a hallway where there's four staircases all in the same place so down through here we got a kitchen always good um, classroom, another classroom, very wonderfully and creepily painted too, this is going to be great. Another classroom, beautiful storage space. I would love to just have 20 zombies sitting there waiting for some poor idiot to open that door. Let's see. More classrooms. Yep. Another staircase. Sheep room. This staircase oh, this is the sheep room. This staircase goes to the uh, uh, middle doors. It goes from outside door. Okay. Yeah, so another exit. This has got to be the creepiest room in the entire building. This is the sheep room. It must have been some kind of... Chris Bowden just scared the crap out of me. <laughs> oh, here's the best part. Standing under God's promise. I want 20 zombies there, I'm not going to lie, <laughs> standing there, they got, it's just creepy. We got this wonderful cabinet here which a dog may come out of and scare you all. It has glowing green eyes and it's black, look out. We got more people here. Hey, what are you guys doing? What's up? We are showing the Zom members the possibility of building. Which is why you're running around with flashlights and all the lights out? Yeah, oh. could have thought. We were just doing space allocation. We now know what every room in the entire building will be. Awesome. So we've got that all mapped out. Cool. Yeah, we're going to keep going. You guys can have fun. We'll see you later. Definitely. More creepy classrooms. They just, they just don't end. And another kitchen. Which of course means that we're just gonna have to sell you guys food or give it to you or something like that. We're definitely going to be cooking in this place. There's only three kitchens. Creepy dog. Yeah. Hi, honey. Another creepy the place. The death room? Yeah. No, I actually didn't find that it's on either ahead. tour. Okay, we're going to the death room, people. What, are we destroying Corey's figure eight? Or go straight. So uh, we're pretty sure somebody died in here. Or a pipe blew up, probably a pipe. But if you can see, zombies were walking on their hands on the ceiling in this room. So look out for this room. It's just, you see that? Zombies can walk on their hands on the ceiling. They can defy gravity. Yes, dead body or poo water. Headshot, I believe it. That's true, that must have been a headshot of the really tall zombie who was walking on the wall. That just keeps going. <laughs> Did you take him in the tunnel? Hmm? Have you, have you taken Not yet. Oh, you gotta go in the tunnel. We're gonna go in the tunnel, we're working on it. Okay. Oh, so. In here somewhere is a pool. Yeah, right up along here. And this 
is the service duct around the pool, also known as the back cave. Huh, Blue Cross. The stalactites are really what sell it. Yeah. When you go around the corner there. All right, I'll let you guys go up in there. It's kind of funny. Yes, he's not lying. There are stalactites down there. Don't know if you can get up there, Corey. Nope. Nope, not even gonna try? Nope. You wanna hand the camera off? Or are you connected to it? I'm connected. Well, you guys are just gonna have to find out for yourself. But there are stalactites around the corner of this place. So that's the home of the future bat cave. And just a beautiful place to attempt to hide and or get ambushed and die a very lonely, lonely death. But it's okay, you'll be back in two minutes. It's all good. Old filter system, always nice and creepy. Ah, uh, you know. Classic, classic zombie apocalypse. Beautiful room, boiler room. I mean, look at it. There's only like 20 places you can pop out of. And oh look, a tunnel, I wonder where that goes. Any guesses? So, another beautiful, beautiful, creepy room. Shut up. It's true. Another staircase. And this goes to the men's locker room. More stairs. Those go up to the pool, but we'll show you. Oh, we want to go to the pool right now? All right, we'll go to the pool. So this death trap used to be a pool right where I'm walking. I actually used to swim here as a kid. Just. The echo in here is gonna throw anybody off. There's one little nook you could really hide in. Um, we've got this beautiful gate over here. We could shut this room down almost, except for one entrance. So you're either trapped in here or you gotta move around. One of the ways we can change the building, there's actually a bunch of ways we can change this building around to make it death traps galore. Is that not right, Chris Bowden? Oh, hey, I'm all for death traps. Okay, guys, one now. We are up or downstairs, not really sure which. Yeah. Oh, maybe we will then. Used to be a gym back there. It's just chairs everywhere. Oh yeah. So more nooks and crannies and an old racetrack. Or running track, walking track, whatever it used to be. The group's gonna do robots, roller derby. But for us, there's pillars in here. It echoes, you can't tell where anybody is in here places to hide back here, old church pews. More nooks and crannies, up more stairs. Stairs just never end in this place. We're going all the way up? Uh, no. No? Okay. Let's just say there's a balcony up there for... Oh, right. For these rooms. Uh-huh. That there is. Those stairs just keep going. And they come out, and actually it doesn't, yeah, it does overlook this room. So this was supposed to be a recording studio, which they failed very miserably at doing. And it's got this nice galley up here, and behind that is another one that you can look down from. There's a hole in the wall, you can peg zombies, you can be up here laying down. All kinds of creepy good stuff, guys. Yeah. Another room with the galley overlooking it. These used to be racquetball courts. Another room. Same thing, so you got the full open galley from up top here that you can peg zombies down from if we let you up there. The fun just doesn't end in this place. Yeah, right back to where we were. And we're back at the entrance, guys. And 
I only showed you half the rooms. There are so many more rooms in this place. It just doesn't end. It's classrooms galore. It's hallways, it's staircases, it's nooks, it's crannies, barricades, boiler rooms. It's just beautiful. Now, how can you guys help out? It's very simple. One, get onto the geekgroup.org and become a member. Our website, we now have our own website, geekgroup.org slash zom. We'll be right down here. Also, if you really want to help, get onto avalon.thegeekgroup.org and kick a buck. A buck, 20 bucks, five bucks, don't care. Anything. Yes, that is the Geek Group PayPal address. Anything will help. Just becoming a member and telling your friends about it will make it so we can have an indoor ZOM forever. It'll be our building. We can do whatever we want, have all kinds of fun. We can do a 24 hour ZOM in here. We can build Nerf guns here. We can do everything here that we've wanted to. You gotta help though. Geekgroup.org, geekgroup.org slash ZOM. Avalon.thegeekgroup.org, any of those websites will help us. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Anything. Thanks, guys. I'm General Badass. video was made possible by a grant from the Future Girl Foundation. This video was made possible by thousands of private donations from members and viewers like you. Please visit thegeekgroup.org for more information on how you can donate and become a part of our dreams of Avalon.